The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Before we dig a little deeper into the cover-up, I really would love to give everyone a sense for the personal turmoil that you two have been through. But even before we go there, I'll openly admit that, that when I watch what you two do as gymnasts, I'm in awe. Jamie, can you first just talk about what it's like to compete at that high of a level? Uh, well, it was extremely abusive, actually, on a daily basis. Um, mentally, physically, and emotional abusive pretty much every day of my life. And to the point where it was like training as an elite, which was obviously one of my dreams, became a, more like a nightmare. Um, they controlled what I ate. They controlled, they wanted me to stand a certain way. They wanted my hair a certain way. Uh, we weren't allowed to talk. They basically stripped me of like my entire personality. And I was even afraid to tell them when I was injured. And because they didn't believe me. So I had to work through like broken bones and compete on broken bones. And then on top of that, they wanted me to eat only like less than a thousand calories a day. Um, and then train for almost seven hours a day. And I even, when I started my period at 16, uh, my coach told me that I wouldn't have started my period if I, if I didn't have enough, if I didn't have that much body fat. And Jamie, when you say they, is this the, in, the entire Team, I mean, I know there's the head of the program, but there's so many assistants, there's a whole hierarchy. Nobody stood up and said, this is not right. No, it was, and those were my own personal coaches that I was training with every day. Was there a point when it shifted from being something that you enjoyed or you wanted to pursue to being something that became, as you said, a nightmare? Yeah, absolutely. I, I was 11 years old when I started training in elite, as an elite, and that's where the shift came. It was like, I had such a love for it, and then I started disliking it, and then it just became like this love-hate relationship to just hate. I'm curious because I think a part of this that a lot of people struggle with is, you know, when it came to your parents, for instance, were they aware of what you were going through or were they pretty much shielded from it? They were pretty much, I mean, they were encouraged not to watch practice, even at like some gyms were not even allowed to watch practice wow. at the elite level. So they really, they really pushed the parents out and, you know, being conditioned not to speak up and not really have an opinion. I, I didn't, I didn't understand the severity of the abuse at that time. I just thought it was, I hated it, but it was, I thought it was difficult and that's what it was gonna take to get to the Olympics. 